Hello, beautiful souls. Eddie here. Since um, September 13th, I've chosen to stop eating food and to be only on juices, water and juices. And um, this, of course, goes with speaking to my body, speaking to my cells, making sure that, you know, we're aligned on all levels before this takes place, because it's a big step. I knew for a very long time I'm going to do it, but this was so perfect, because things are shifting on a daily basis um, in my life in such a rapid way that I have to adjust as those changes are coming into my reality. So this period, I don't have a timeline for it. I just let it keep it, keep it open. I'm, I know I knew I was going to start it, and God, for how long this has to take place, this will take place. Now, what's happening here is incredible. And the reason I want to share this with you is first so that you know that you have a, an incredible connection, a, male, a marriage with your body that is beyond what most of us think or believe. And this goes into even, you know, you know how I, I teach about the soul's mental grid. The soul's mental grid is your mechanism, the system in which brings your soul peace into the body. It's vast, it's huge, it's about the size of a football field. Within that system, there is the Merkaba, the first layers of Merkaba, the second layers, the, of course, the Taurus, because it's it's a result of something. Um, and then there's other elements within it that basically bring that all together and enables your soul piece to be present in your body. Very powerful stuff. So being on this new style of eating has been very rewarding, very powerful, and got me even more closer to my body. I see things, I understand things better, I, it's polishing me into a place where I haven't been before, and I, and I always wanted to do this, and this is such a perfect timing, now that I'm complete with getting Vortex ready, and you know, the courses are ready, the, the meditations with the whales are ready, the healing journey with them in my course sessions, everything's ready. The community is, is building itself up and, and beautiful. I love it. So now it's getting ready for what's coming next. And so I have to get my body ready for this. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I have an idea because it's an idea, because it's a feeling, because it's a premonition. I can't really share it. I, I have no words for it. And, but there's some elements that I want to share with you, which is the second part, that the whales have come up and shared in the past and the channelings and, and the last year, last year when I, when I worked uh, with them in the beginning, when we started doing the channelings and recordings. <clears throat> so they have shared and described how water is so... is so connected to us. We're such a, we're water beings in so many ways that water is us and us is water. The connection to water is so profound, it's so powerful and it's so loving. And we have this connection and this, this, um, how do they say? It's, it's a form of divine connection that has to work and be in collaboration all the time. Otherwise, we won't be able to be here. And one of the things they said, that the water, we breathe air, we breathe air, the oxygen and so forth, so on and so forth for, for, the, for the physical. There's a physical elements within the air that we breathe. However, the water is beyond the physical. So we, what we do is, we take in air and we break the water inside our body. There is a, um, my phone is slowing down a little bit for some reason. I'm not sure why. 
we break the water using the elements and the, the mechanisms within our body. So for example, primarily around behind our nose, there's, there's an area where the water gets there and we break the water on an atomic level. And the energy that we absorb from that, that we transmute from the water transformation is what um, we gain as what we call life energy. We call it prana. We call it so many things. That is the mechanism of life. So we have these instruments also in the palms of our hands and other parts of our body, our heart, our lungs, each place a little bit differently. And they they stream into different areas also into the soul's mental grid, the energy, and there's there's it gets more and I see visuals as, as soon as I talk to you guys, I, I get the visual. So it, it gets more complicated. I don't want to I want to keep it simple. So prana, life energy. Food is in the way. We eat too much food. We just eat too much food. It's 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 just by being on this new on this journey since it's been what three almost three weeks now only on juices except for one night which i spent time with my boys and we had dinner i said you know what just for one night i'm gonna have some pasta which was and tahini which was really good but as soon as i was done eating i enjoyed i enjoyed the flavors i enjoyed the process of eating again it's a gift being able to eat food is a gift for us and at the same time i was eager and i couldn't wait to come back again to that state of being on juices and liquids only on water and juices. It has this elevated state of beingness that it's, you crave it again, you want it again. Now, of course, I maintain a very balanced um, drinking, if you will, of juices, um, herbal stuff that I do on my own, um, and you believe it or not, dark chocolate. That's the only thing that I have that you can, can call solid, but it's chocolate. If you drink it with hot tea in the morning, perfect. So you know chocolate, how it's important for our pineal gland. So there is an element of that, of course, turmeric and all that stuff that I still take with me as well. Where am I getting with this? I want you to know that we are evolving into something greater than what we ever thought possible with the sun coming in with the new energies the solar event that's coming that's going to affect our dna the our transition from one type of foods to others foods that are going to be balancing us supporting us giving us the ability to be more elevated in our consciousness And I'm not talking about necessarily not eating meat. And this is a very delicate situation, subject. I know many of you are going to come say, Eddie, what are you talking about? Listen, some of us have to have meat. I don't eat meat, but I, I stopped eating meat for a long time. But there's sometimes I know my body needs it. And so I'm very selective what I take in, very selective. This has to be clean, organic, grass-fed, you know, uh, or just broth, uh, bone broth, which is really beneficial for you. In this case, in the juicing process. Um, as an evolutionary process, many of us are not ready to take away meat yet. And because there is a memory that resides within your cellular body, and is directly connected to your past lives. So if you just came in from a lifetime that you've been eating a lot of meats, you're gonna have, you're gonna need a couple of more lifetimes to take it away from your diet. It needs time, it needs process. It's gonna happen eventually. We're gonna be, you're not, we're not gonna eat meat at some point. That is for sure. It's going to take a few generations. It's going to take, again, we have, there's a process. Everything has to go slow. Now, as I digress, let's go back to, this, to our subject. Not eating meat, I mean, uh, not eating solid foods. Prana, energy. 
<clears throat> they spoke about water many times. They, they constantly speak about water. They won't stop talking about water. Yeah. Right, guys? Yes. <laughs> um, there is the aspect of us becoming light beings more so than we ever thought possible and quicker than we ever thought possible. There's another new thing that you talked about recently. That's a very recent thing, not last year. Our abilities to be, to have a, um, a sonar form of communication is becoming very, very real. This is very cool stuff. So this is very, something very similar to the whales and, 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 and you know, the cetaceans, the cetacean family, that their sonar ability, we're getting into that place where we are going to have something very similar. And we're developing it right now in our in our in our head, in our minds, in our in our brains. It's gonna take it's gonna take generations, but we're becoming we're we're establishing that foundational aspect of it again. Yeah, very cool stuff, very incredible stuff. And so, telepathy is gonna become very powerful, telekinesis. But again, as I said before, many times, any gift you receive, the level of responsibility is exponential to the level of the gift. Right? Think about it. Very deep stuff. Humanity is at a good place. We're moving into a great, great place. As again, as I said many times before, and other people are saying this too. We're going into a beautiful time. Golden age is coming. We're already there, from my opinion. That's how I feel it. Humanity is graduating. It has to posture itself, get ready for what's coming next. We have to get rid of a lot of things on our planet which that are not in our, you know, they're not supposed to be here anymore. That darkness has to go. Bye bye. Through this process, we're going to go through some events that are going to be very tough, very challenging. So. You are invited. As things are challenging, you're invited to come into Vortex. The whales, seven founders, Gaia, we've put together a very powerful healing journey for you guys. Come into Vortex and do the spectacle. If I try to describe what it is, it will take away from its value. I want you to come with intentions. The intentions for your well-being, for your healing, for your love, for your self-love, to expand your heart, to expand your consciousness, to be healed, to rejuvenate, and bring peace to the world. We cover a lot of stuff in there, but it's your choice to come in. I cannot make you. This is an invitation to all of you. It's free for your humanity. Very powerful stuff. So, you choose to begin a new form of eating habits. Speak to yourselves. Talk to your body. Get ready. Because your body is listening. In more ways than you think. Yeah. Okay. I think I've said enough. I love you. Have a wonderful time. Blessings to you all. And uh, celebrate these times. As challenging as they are now. And as challenging as, as challenging as they're going to become in the next few days, weeks, celebrate. I challenge you and I love you. Blessings to you all.